previously on Goobish Goobs. Uh, nothing, because this is my first video. My name is Charisma, and if you're looking for a, let's face it, mediocre artist who's been drawing for 12 years and somehow still in the beginning stages, you're in the right place. <laughs> Recently, I've come face to face with the opportunity to create my very own art studio and believe it or not, I took it. <laughs> I've never had an art studio before, let alone like any kind of space specifically designated to do art and I'm very excited now. <laughs> Since I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for quite some time now, I thought what better introduction video than the setup of the studio that you guys are going to see in basically every video. If you like this video or if you like me or you like anything about what's going on here, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the things that you always hear YouTubers saying do. Just, just, just do those things. Without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into it, starting with day one. purple paint stain from the last time that the room got painted that I'm gonna have to either try to scrub up, get my boyfriend to scrub up, or just cover up with a rug. <laughs> The days of this process went by very quickly and in the beginning I did not record nearly as much as I did at, at the middle and end of the process. So that's why everything's kind of like two seconds apart from day to day. We're moving straight into day four, which was building all the little pieces of furniture and goodies that I got. Most of them were from Amazon. I will link them down below if I remember. I probably won't remember, but you may notice that all of the days are pretty separated. Like I believe day one was on September 18th. Day two was September 25th, on and on. Um, all the days tend to be about a week apart because this was all before I officially moved in completely to my boyfriend's place. With the way my previous work schedule was set up, I was able to come every weekend and I just used that time as time to work on the studio. So by the time I moved in completely, 
hopefully the studio would be finished. Which it actually did work out pretty well because as of October 28th, I have been moved in officially and the studio was finished by then. As I'm recording this, it's November 6th and I have been thoroughly enjoying the space. As you can see, the first thing I built was this yellow stand and oh my gosh, I love it so much. I played around with filming with two cameras, my phone and my Nikon. Uh, to get two different angles and while it was like I do like the angles I think I prefer to just get two angles using one camera so very early on in the process I kind of just gave up on using both cameras and proceeded to just use the phone since it was more mobile easier and I'm way more used to a phone than I am a Nikon camera i really gotta learn how to use this camera. I don't wanna bore you to death with endless talking and three hours worth of build footage because trust me, I have it. <laughs> We're just gonna speed our way through this boring stuff, you know, get to the fun stuff, the decorating. <laughs> Hello. Today is October 2nd and I got a huge chunk of this office space done yesterday. Today it's about finishing building two last things that I need built and then moving all my stuff back in from the hallway. I'm trying this thing with my phone as my microphone because I don't, the audio in here is a little bit echoey and I'm hoping that it'll get better when I add more stuff in here, like when I kind of enclose the space in and when I finish adding my sound panels to the door. But, oh my gosh. Let me get a little bit closer. It's going very, very well. Actually, this might be a bit too close. I don't. I woke up at six o'clock this morning and I could not go back to sleep. This experience has been very, very nice for me. I think some stressful things go on, like this rack. I had a couple of blips with it and it was a little stressful to put together, but it all panned out in the end. I really enjoy the rack. I really enjoy that I got it done. I really enjoy that it's in here and that it's so cool and so cute. And the little drawers I bought for it are like perfect. I love how big they are. I was scared they were gonna be a little too small, but they are a nice big chunky size for storage. And I'm really, really insanely happy about that. Let's talk about the rug. Oh my gosh. I got the rug from Timu. I was very nervous that the rug was going to be small because I got a rug that was like 68 by 90 inches because there's actually a pretty significant purple paint stain on the carpet that I can't for the life of me get out. My boyfriend tried to scrub it out and it just, it doesn't, it doesn't want to get out of the carpet. I got a nice big rug from Timu to cover up said paint stain and I really, really, really enjoy the rug. Spongebob edition of Mariah Elizabeth's Create This Book. Ultimately, I decided not to because 
<laughs> it was create this book and I didn't create any of the Spongebob thing. I was so hyped and so ready to do it. And then at, at the way beginning of the process, I was just like, no. <laughs> Still is a very very appealing idea. I may still do it. I I really don't know. I just thought that was an interesting little tad bit, tidbit, tad bit. All right, so we're just gonna do a little bit of a check-in. I am getting pretty far along with everything. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty happy with the results. There's still stuff everywhere, but I have put away so many different things now. I bought the little ghost mushroom, just planning on putting it on the wall, but I realized that I had a picture frame that could hold it. Granted, the picture is a little bit too big, but all it did was just cut off the white borders, and I'm completely fine with that. So I actually really do enjoy having the little ghost guy in a picture frame rather than on the wall. I really like that. I like how my little red table is coming out. I didn't plan for it to be a red table, but that's just kind of how it started looking. I realized I had a lot of different red pieces of decor. They happened so to keep getting put at that table. And so I just said, after a while, screw it. We're gonna make it the red table. I got all of my books away, I think, um, on the bookshelf and on my little yellow desk shelf thingy over here. I got all of my clay things put away. I bought all of that clay stuff to make like clay figurines. Have I made one clay figurine yet? No. Have I tried to make one clay figurine yet? No. I'm going to though, I'm, I'm going to get around to it. I just know I will, especially now that I have this space. I think I have this the space to have everything laid out where it needs to be and I can like organize it in my head better and be creative. Hopefully I get around to making something with clay. If I do, I will definitely film it because I need video ideas and I don't really have any. I'm very ready to start putting stuff on the walls, but I know that I can't do it just yet because I need to get, oh, you good? We're just gonna talk down here. I need to get everything put away first and then when everything is put away, then I can kind of have everything that's gonna go on the walls out on the floor and so I can assess what needs to go on the wall? How much wall space do I have? What stuff goes where? Also, I got a new phone case. 
I got a new phone case and I'm really, really happy with it. It's toast. Real cute, real cute, real cute. Okay, we're gonna keep on moving. I left and came back. I did some exercise and had me a little snack. And I've also shed my Grinch pants and <laughs> acquired a Grinch sweater. It's about 5.13 right now. And I think I'm gonna give myself until like 6.13 or 6.20 to have it completely done in here or like completely everything organized and put in its spot. Okay, so I'm showing you guys everything that's happening within the studio, but there are some changes that are happening outside of the studio that have to do with the studio. And I'll tell you about it. I am very socially awkward and anxious. I always have been very uncomfortable with people hearing me film and talk to a camera. My boyfriend works from home and his office is downstairs. Every so often when he gets a break, he comes upstairs and visits me and we hug or cuddle or whatever, just lay, talk, whatever. But now that I have my studio set up and I'll be in here working on videos, he knows that like, he won't be able to come up all the time. But it was still bothering me that he possibly could come upstairs and like be outside of the door and like hear me filming, hear, hear me talking. And that, that just embarrassed me. So I came up with this system and I bought a color changing light bulb. It's controlled by a remote control. I put the light bulb over the stairs. If he's trying to come upstairs but sees that the light bulb is red, then he can't come upstairs because that means I'm busy or I'm talking to a camera and I don't want him to hear it because I'm just weird and awkward. But if the light bulb is green, then that means I'm not busy. He can come up, we can chat, cuddle, whatever. But for the time being tonight, I'm done and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. I hope you guys sleep well. Hope you guys have a good dinner. Hope you guys have good dreams and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got a package. <laughs> this is the remainder of the panels for the door and some other little goodies that I just got because I couldn't help myself. I don't hang stuff, so we're gonna see how this goes. Stage six was definitely my favorite. There was something so magical about taking an empty space and decorating it in a way that felt right to me. Every little piece of decor is in one way or another a representation of me and the things that I love. When my sister first saw the studio, the first thing she said was, wow, it looks so good. It's so much detail. And that made me feel so good because honestly, it is a lot of detail. I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and it's quite the maximalist space, but I just couldn't imagine it being any less than what it is. In the past, I have found myself marveling at very minimalistic spaces and setups and I've always aspired to one day reach that point of quote-unquote aesthetic perfection but the process of setting up my own studio brought something very unexpected out of me. I am indeed more maximalist than I ever assumed. I enjoy being surrounded by things especially when there's much thought or meaning behind them. I'm very thankful to have had this opportunity so I was able to learn that about myself. I quite often find myself in an identity crisis where I don't know who I am or what inspires me. So 
finding out that I'm more maximalist than minimalist feels like a little piece of the puzzle being revealed to me. So that gives me hope that one day I'll be able to take a step back and look at myself and be able to just know exactly who I am. The creation of this studio and YouTube channel alike to me mean more than just what meets the eye. Not only do I now have a personalized art space, but also the freedom and a platform to go on my artistic journey like I've been wanting to for years. I'll just say I'm very excited for what's to come. has been a whole week since the last time I worked on the room. It's 6.58 and it's October 15th today. My birthday was two days ago, so I turned 25. My sister actually got me a couple of things and I was so shocked I wasn't expecting her to get me anything, but she got me a SpongeBob cake. I love SpongeBob. As you probably can tell from the different SpongeBob references all around the room, I walked in from work one day. I didn't even notice at first, but she said, happy early birthday. And so I turned around and I was just like, what am I looking at? The counter caught my eye and there was a SpongeBob cake on the counter and it said, happy birthday, Rizzy Bear. I'll put a photo of it up so you can see. My reaction to that SpongeBob cake was just me saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, over and over and over and over and over again. I think I've done like three layers on each of these knobs, so I'm going to wait till they dry completely and then Mod Podge over them. My dresser knobs are painted and dry, so I will get those on the dresser today. As I grew up, I found comfort in watching videos of YouTubers in their studios and in their art space. And while I know that having a studio and having a designated art space isn't mandatory to create or to be an artist, I still long for the day that I could have an art space that I could call my own. It's mind boggling that this space is mine and that I took this space from a dark purple box and turned it into what it is. I'm looking around and I remember when I did that. I remember when I did that. I remember when I did this and when I did that and when I did that. It's not only an art space I've created for myself, but also memories to go along with the art space. And it all just feels like such a treat, honestly. I love it so, 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 so much. Today is October 23rd and it's about 10 a.m.-ish. And we're just gonna keep trucking through. I have more wall shelves to put up, like I mentioned. I have some frames to jankify on some canvases, uh, some canvas posters that I have. <clears throat> Hello, my pretties. I am officially moved in completely and able to spend 100% of my time working on the studio. I'm trying out a new mic since it's really small. I just attached it to a mechanical pencil. So I have something to hold on to. I'm going to try not to shake it a lot because I'm not sure if it's going to do things with the audio. So we will see about that. I don't really have very many updates. Dates. I do have a fire going on behind me, as you can tell. I don't know if it works, but I just thought cozy vibe.
I don't know if it's cozy or not, but cozy vibe. <laughs> okay, so I've made a decision that the little banner is not working for me on its own. It feels very empty. It just feels like randomly placed on the wall, which I have to admit it kind of is, but I don't like the random placement of it on the wall anymore. So I found, I'll go get it actually. I set it over here and I did not bring it with me, but I have it now, so. All right, I found these rainbow wall stickers on Timu and I kind of wanna put them up in the corner so it can look like there's a rainbow going up the wall. Then leaking from the actual rainbow on the wall, there are all the little rainbow puff balls. It'll be like the rainbow turned into little puff balls and then started floating around the room. That's, that's, that's what I'm going for with it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna start with and then I'm thinking about doing some more finishing touches on making this table look as red as it possibly can. If you can see over here, I had a cork board that I took down because it wasn't red and I really want that cork board to be red. I just want over here to look like something red just threw up on it. I think that's the whole update for right now. I think now I'm just gonna start doing stuff, so. We're moving right along into our next day. It's the final day and I was so excited and so ready to be done. This clock was the last thing on the red wall that needed some touch-ups. It needed to be red. My original plan was to paint only the outside red and leave it looking like a normal clock, but I never use it to tell what time it is, so it's really just decor. It would have been fine as a normal clock, but I just thought adding a little bit of art to it would give it some more character. So I spray painted the whole thing, took a picture of the blank canvas, and uploaded it to Procreate so I could get a better idea of just how I wanted to design it. I ended up going with an original character duo of mine. Their names are Coco and Chrysanthemum. As of right now, they are my only original characters and they're not very well buffed out yet. I don't have much of a storyline or background to go with them. I do plan on doing some more drawing sessions and story planning so I can better develop their characters, but as of right now, they just went with the red theme. Chrysanthemum is the little heart guy and Coco is the horned black creature. I don't know what Coco is yet, but I really enjoy how he looks. He is sadly unable to experience any kind of positive emotion, but that doesn't mean he's negative and angry. Don't get me wrong, he can and does experience anger. However, most of his time is spent simply just existing. He's neither happy or sad. Like I said, I will be doing more development on their personalities and backstories very soon. When I know more, you will know more. Until then, I hope you can enjoy the short introduction of them I was able to give, as well as watching them be painted. I will say that I I was pretty nervous when I was creating this. Early in the video, I made what I called an unnecessary remark about being an artist for 12 years, but still somehow being stuck in the beginning stages. And while I do think that the self-pity and talking down on my own art isn't always necessary, I still 
kind of agree with it. My family and my old co-workers would look at my art and think very differently than I do about it. Everyone I've come across so far has had nothing but positive things to say about my artwork and capabilities. I, on the other hand, tend to over-criticize just about everything I draw. And I think a lot of artists can relate to that one way or another. Only the artist who created the piece is actually there for the whole process of the creation of that piece. For me, I find myself being insecure about my own art because even after 12 years, my lines still are very stiff and I have a hard time with getting something very smooth. I don't practice nearly as much as I should and for that reason, my skills have stayed pretty stagnant over the past couple of years. My mom's always been very positive about my art skills, even when I didn't personally feel like I could do what she said I could do. I'm starting to realize that her outlook on my artwork rings more true than I give credit for. Even though the characters are very simply drawn, I still went into this project being very skeptical if I could even pull it off or not. To my shock, in the end, I did, and I'm very proud of the results. And with that being said, it's time for the grand reveal. And that is our finale, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I put a lot of time and effort into it and I just can't wait to do more. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching and lending me your time. It really means a lot. I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know when that will be, but it will be soon enough. And I don't have an outro yet, so we're just gonna say goodbye for now. <laughs> just goodbye <laughs> for now, for now, because I'm coming back. Yeah, <laughs> bye.